Hi, fire signs. So this is going to be a mid-month reading for all fire signs. I'm going to group you guys together. Uh, it'll just be a quick one. I'm using a different deck here as well. Uh, this deck is a little, uh, I think it's Sage's video I brought it up. So it's done by multiple artists, so uh, you can really see it in each card, uh, the individualism that each artist has. I actually like it. It's I think it's quite unique. <laughs> There's some odd odd cards here. Uh, so we're just going to let some cards fall out and see what the messages are that um, Spirit, Universe, Life, God, whatever you believe in, wants you to know. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So you have something, uh, it's coming through as fixed, uh, that's going to happen. So it may be, like, it may be saying some things that have happened have been fixed. Uh, like, I don't mean fixed as in, you know, like, somebody winning, <laughs> like, uh, a poll, you know what I mean? It's not fixed. I mean, it's coming through as in, like, there's certain things on your path that, like, you're destined to, to come across. I'll just show the card here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's associated with all the fixed signs. So you got Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles here. Oh, so that's why the fix came up. <laughs> So for fire signs, it's basically the messages coming through here and the cards are starting to fly out now. Ooh, the Ace of Wands. I love this card, you guys. You see that? And don't mind the uh, fluctuation in the coloring. <laughs> I changed color. It's the lighting. It's really bad. It's getting late here. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, okay, it's like passion, desire. Okay, like in this card, the imagery, uh, it's like a cyborg, okay, and she's fascinated by the rose, and I, I find it quite interesting that they use the rose as the, the wand, okay, and with the rose, there, you know, the red rose, it's like love, passion, desire, okay, so, like, you have the... Well, the energies that are coming through is more so Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio, okay? Uh, I say Aquarius because of Cyborg. <laughs> ah! I say Taurus because Taurus likes uh, lovely things, you know? They like the good life, where uh, pretty things. And Scorpio because of the passion and the desire, all right? Scorpios have a lot of passion and desire. But there's something you're holding on to, or it could be another person. They're holding on to something. And, it ha and I mean, it's going to do more harm than good. Where some of you may be holding on to the past. And uh, you really got to let it go. Where you got to you gotta be future forward, future oriented. Because like the, this is like a cyborg, okay? Cyborg is like... You know, it's technology, it's future, uh, it's, pro like, progression in society, all right? So, like, what I'm getting, though, is progression in your life, okay? Like, so it's, like, uh, no longer holding on to what doesn't serve you, okay? Things that have happened in the past, they've happened. You can't fix them, okay? But you can create uh, new things, There's like a pause moment coming through here too. You have the lovers. Ooh. Bounce. Bow wow. <laughs> Chicky bow. All right. So some of you are holding back in love and you have the hero font here. That hero font is Taurus. Okay. That's Taurus energy. I do get Virgo with that too, be just because of the crow. And I associate Virgos with crows. Although crows show up in Leo's video a lot. Like a lot. I was actually reading a comment from a Leo. Uh, hi, Patty. <laughs> the crows came by when I was reading your comment, and they were just, like, swarming through. And uh, 
there is uh, four seagulls, too, and they were, like, g going through the crowd of um, crows there. I always find that interesting. With a certain viewer, whenever I read her comments, there's usually crows by. Uh, and, uh, people associate crows with a bad thing, but there's a lot of mythology to crows, okay? There's uh, the story about the crows that uh, they live on opposite sides of the world, and they communicate with each other. Uh, Okay, so some of you, it's almost saying like in relationships, you're holding on to past hurts in a relationship. And it's just like you need to revibrate, like restart the relationship over again. Okay, this doesn't mean that you're going to be able to forget everything that happened in the past. You're not, I mean, like there are events that happened. Okay, especially if like you got Scorpio in your chart. Okay, Scorpios are like elephants. I always associate them with elephants. They, they're very sensitive and they can remember a lot. All right, like, so if some of you fire signs are dealing with Scorpios, okay, they could be taking, well, I don't even feel like if it's, if you're dealing with Scorpios, okay, like, you're holding on to something uh, that happened in the past, and it's just going to make the situation worse, is basically what it's saying. Okay. Like, the cards are saying to make the situation worse is you got to let things go from the past and restart over again. Like, like, moving forward, okay? And with, it's future-oriented because the cyborg. <laughs> the cyborg is something that, you know, like, in fiction, uh, it, it takes place in the future, okay? And it's almost like feelings, too, okay, you guys? That's maybe why the Scorpio came through. It's your feelings. You really have to, it's like some of you guys for a long time haven't been in tuned with them. Okay, and with the hero font here, there's something with the hero font card it's saying like astrologically that's happening, and it has to do with passion and desire. I mean, Mars is usually the planet of that, so maybe that's why Scorpio was coming up. But uh, Mars is also associated with Aries. Some of you have choices between lovers. Like, uh, you could be seeing a few people and you have choices. Okay, and then for others of you, if somebody's seeing multiple people or communicating with multiple people, well then, okay, well, that person has... Uh, no idea what they want and you just need to dismiss yourself from that situation and carry on like future oriented all right opportunities are always going to come to you always you know it's whether or not you you see it the cards are also asking you to res um appreciate the, s the small things in life like smelling the roses okay like it's the simple things in life that matter but with the cyborg, it's like a cyborg doesn't have feelings, okay? And in this card, she's fascinated by the rose. So it sparked something in her. Okay, with the Ace of Wands, it's an idea. Uh, it's a new passion, a new desire. It's a new goal, all right? And with the lovers, okay? So some of you guys, it's Gemini, all right? I like in this card how they have it as a male-female, And it's more of like the Egyptian days. It kind of reminds me of the Egyptian days and like Buddhist, really. Where The man has clothing on and the woman, she doesn't. So the woman is vulnerable. So again, the Aquarius could be coming through from that. Because the uh, if you look in the star card, Aquarians like um, naked, right? Because they're fully vulnerable. They're not afraid to be themselves, all right? They like... So, the issue may be stemming from a male. Okay, well, I'm not going to say that. Okay, for the female, she's, like, looking too far out in the horizons. And for the male, he's looking at the finer details, the here and the now. Okay? So, there could be... Uh, the two of you aren't on the same page. Where the female needs to come down more to Earth, and the male needs to look more uh, towards the future. Okay, and you both need to do this. You both need to come into alignment. Okay, so if the male's looking at details, that's probably why Virgo came through.
Okay, because Virgos are very good at the details. And Aquarians are like the cyborg. They look they look outside of like the ordinary. So for some of you guys, you may have to cause like a romantic night at home. Uh, that may be what it's talking about. But with the hero font, that's tradition too, right? That's like marriage. So somebody, you could get an announcement of marriage. Within the family, because the hero font is a structure, right? So it's like generations. Something to do with generations. And that's kind of beautiful to people who get married. And this could be sparking up uh, feelings in yourself, okay? And it's not to judge your situation compared to another's, okay? Everybody operates on their own time, you know what I mean? Like, just because you're a specific age doesn't mean that you have to be married. Or, like, if you're in a relationship and you're like, okay, well, everybody else is getting married, now I gotta get married? Okay, don't be putting that pressure on your partner, all right? Because, like... Just because society is a follower, a follower's mentality doesn't mean that you have to do that. Everything happens on its own timing, okay? Because you may not be looking at the practicality of it. There is something about you guys holding on with the Four of Pentacles, and you're holding on to things that no longer serve you, okay? So if a relationship ended, well, then that means it's over and done with. And in the future, okay, once you get back in touch with your feelings, because of the cyborg here, it's a robot, right? Doesn't have feelings. Doesn't have emotions. Okay? So, like, something's going to spark you where it's going to bring you feelings and emotions. All right? And you may not know what to do with it. It's saying in the future, though. Some of you could be celebrating an anniversary, too. It is coming up anniversary. For you guys, hopefully that helped you out. Uh, it's just going to be a short one. It is saying to move forward, though, okay? Like, to create structure and stability. It's like you can no longer do things the way that they were done before. you got to try new things. Okay, in your relationship, this means date night. That's very important in your relationship, making time for each other, okay? Quality talking time, sitting at the table and eating, okay? Instead of watching TV and eating, all right? Quality time together. All right, you guys, hopefully this helped you out, and namaste, ciao for now.